welcome all of you in fifth lecture of chapter number second polynomial so we discussed meaning of polynomial then degree of polynomial then types of polynomial in first exercise we find out number of zeros from the given graph then in second exercise we were having two question in first question we find out zeros then verify the zeros in second question we find out the quadratic polynomial now in third exercise 2.3 in our syllabus only question first and second are there question third fourth fifth you can leave these three questions are not in syllabus so we will solve only first and second question so let us read first question do divide the polynomial px by polynomial gx this is polynomial px this is polynomial gx we have to divide and find the quotient and remainder in each of the following so this type of question you already study in ninth class how to divide a polynomial by the other polynomial so first step always the polynomial should be in standard form standard form means power should be in decreasing order like 3 power 2 power 1 power variable is not present so 0 power but if we see here 2 power 0 power then 1 power so we have to rearrange this is in standard form here we have to rearrange it so or we will write x square then minus x then plus one. so now this polynomial we will write here means this is dividend and here this is divisor. So x cube as it is, here we will write x square. When we divide, then power will subtract. So 3 minus 2, we are left with x. This x we will write here. So now this x will multiply 1 by 1 with all these 3. So when we multiply, power will add. This you study in 9 plus. So 1 power, 2 power, this will become x cube. Minus x into x, minus x square. 1 into x, so this is plus x. Now sign will change. Always first value will cancel. Now this is minus 3, this is plus 1, so minus 2x square. This is plus 5, this is minus 1, so plus 4x. This is minus 3. Now we will divide minus 2x square by x square. x square will cancel, we are left with minus 2. So here we will write minus 2. Now we will forget this. We will multiply minus 2 by these three values. So minus 2 into x square, minus 2x square. Minus 2 into minus x, plus 2x. Minus 2 into 1, minus 2. Now we will change the sign. First value will cancel. So 4x minus 2x, this is 2x, minus 3 plus 2, this is minus 1. Now we can't divide this question further because degree of this remainder is less than degree of divisor. So this degree is less. If degrees are same or you can say if power is same, you can solve. If this power is more than this, then you can solve. But if this degree is less than degree of divisor, we can't solve it further. So here quotient x minus 2 and remainder 2x minus 2. In the same way, third part. First part you will solve yourself. First part is very easy. In second and third, we have to change polynomial into standard form. So I am solving only second and third. First is direct part. You have to direct divide. So this is in standard form. You can check. But this is, is not in standard form. So or we can write minus x square plus 2. In first part, both px and gx are in standard form. First part. So you can solve that. So here we will write dividend, then divisor, so x power 4 minus x square, minus as it is 4, 2, so this is 2, so minus x square, minus x square, minus x square, plus x power 4, minus x square, plus 2, minus 2 x square, now x square is not present here, so we will write minus 2 x square at last, now we will change sign, we have to change sign of this value also, whether here x square is present or not, it, it doesn't matter. We have to change the sign of this one. So this first value cancel. Again, we have to write in standard form. So first we have to write 2x square, then minus 5x, then plus 6. So now we will divide 2x square by minus x square. x square cancel, we are left with minus 2. So here we will write minus 2. Minus 2 into minus x square. So this is plus 2x square. So minus 2 into plus 2, minus 4. Now we will change the sign. First value again cancel. So minus 5x plus 10. So here quotient is minus x square minus 2 and remainder minus 5x plus 10. So first part you will solve yourself. In the same way we will solve the question number second. So in second question what is different? Here check whether the first polynomial is a factor. Factor word is there. This word you will underline. Of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by first polynomial. Like this is the first part. So this value is dividend, this is divisor. Now to 
t power 4 upon t square, so you will get 2 t square, you will write here. So 2 t square into t square, 2 t power 4, 2 t square into minus 3, minus 6 t square. So this value cancel. So 3 t cube, minus 2 plus 6, plus 4 t square, minus 9 t, minus 12. Now 3 t cube, divide by t square, you will get 3 t. So 3 t. 3 t into t square, 3 t cube. 3 t into minus 3, minus 9 t. So we will change the sign, both value will cancel. So 4 t square minus 12. So 4 t square upon t square. t square cancel. We will left with 4. So plus 4. 4 into t square. 4 t square. 4 into minus 3. Minus 12. Now we will change the sign. Both value will cancel. So here we will get remainder 0. If remainder 0 then we can say that this t square minus 3 is factor of 2 t 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square minus 9 t minus 12. If we get remainder 0, it is factor. If we don't get remainder 0, it is not factor. So second part, you will solve yourself. Let us see the third part. So this value we will write here in dividend. This is divisor. So x power 5, then x cube. You, we are left with x square. Here we will write x square. So x square into x3, x power 5. x square into minus 3x, minus 3x cube, minus 1, uh, x square into 1. This is x square. Now we will change the square. First value cancel. Minus 4 plus 3. This is minus 1 when we don't write. So minus x cube. Here 3x and plus 1. Now minus x cube upon x cube. x cube cancel. We are left with minus 1. So minus 1. Minus 1 into x cube. Minus x cube. Minus 1 into minus 3x. Plus 3x. Minus 1 into plus 1. Minus 1. Change the sign. These two value cancel. Plus 1 plus 1. We are left with 2. Now here remainder is not 0. So we can say x cube minus 3x plus 1 is not factor of x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So if remainder is 0, you can say that this is factor. If remainder is not 0, you can say this is not factor. So this second part you will solve yourself. Now this chapter is